Caitlyn Jenner desperately wants to be taken seriously after polls from California show that she doesn't really have a shot, but she's not backing down. So she went on national television and yet again made a fool of herself. Take a look. Joining me now is the Republican candidate for governor of California, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn, good to see you. Often that's all I get. Uh oh. We might not have any audio in Caitlyn Jenner's ear. Do we have any audio, guys? Okay. Oh, wrong video. This is the video that I actually wanted to play for you. Landed on Omaha Beach on D-Day and was awarded the Blonde Star and the Purple Heart. He served until the end of the war and was honorably discharged in 1945. Caitlyn Jenner is running to replace Governor Newsom in California and joins me now. Caitlyn, great to have you with us. Thanks for being here. Well, what's your response? Uh, you know, does this seem like an innocent mistake to you or is this a significant blunder? Uh, I'm so disappointed. Uh, in the direction that our country is going right now, mm -hmm. down this socialist road, trying to destroy uh, this country's history. I'm very proud of our country's history. Um, from the 1619 Project, we're teaching in schools to the president of the United States of America, not even acknowledging what happened on June 6th. To me, that is absolutely devastating. My father was 19 years old, um, and he wanted to go fight. Um, he joined the 5th Ranger Battalion, went over, trained. The 5th Ranger Battalion was the first boats on Omaha Beach. Um, there was 364 guys in his division, and 60 came back alive to fight for my freedom, this country's freedom. They are truly the greatest generation. And to see the president of the United States not even acknowledge that. My father's born at our, is, is buried at Arlington with all his war buddies. Uh, if he could see what's happening to this country right now. Yeah, he'd be devastated. I, I hear that a lot uh, from veterans. And thank you for your father's service. We have a wonderful picture of him up on the screen right now. You probably can't see it, but um, it, it just speaks volumes looking at this picture of your dad. Um, it, the president did the next day on, Jan on June 7th. Um, he tweeted to transgender Americans across the country, especially the young people who are so brave. I want you to know your president has your back. I, I'm sure I would imagine that that's a sentiment that you are pleased to hear from the president. But the fact that he talked about their bravery the day after D-Day and, and never mentioned uh, your dad and the others. What do you say about that? Um, I'm certainly not running as a trans candidate for governor of the state of California. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I am running because I just I love this state. Um, I moved here. In 1973, 48 years ago, a long time ago, uh, when gas was 39 cents a gallon. Uh, today, taxes are over 50 cents a gallon. Mm -hmm. I have watched over the last 48 years this state decline um, because of Sacramento has been ambushed by the socialists for a lot longer than the, the United States. We've been going down this road for a long time. And the decline is only accelerated uh, under Gavin Newsom's rule. And I thought to myself, because of my father, he served. Maybe this is my time to serve. Maybe this is time to stand up. Can I be an, an example um, to other people? If you don't like what's going on in this country right now, mm -hmm. stand up. Run for your local school board. Um, you don't like what's going yeah. on in your town? Run for mayor. All right. I, I, um, it's time to stand up. We, ha we have to change things. Caitlyn Jenner, thank you. We're <sighs> I don't even know where to begin. Um, there's so much about that clip that was just silly. Uh, first of all, notice that the Fox host tried to bait her into attacking transgender people and uh, basically get her to downplay the importance of transgender issues as a trans woman because that's what Fox News tries to do. They bring on black people to attack Black Lives Matter. They bring on gay people to attack gay rights. So they were trying to do this with Caitlyn Jenner, trying to get her to say, uh, yes, actually, I do believe that Biden speaking about D-Day is more important than him speaking about transgender issues. But she didn't take the bait. And it's not because she's super savvy and she was on to the games that the host was trying to play. It's because she's an airhead and she didn't get what she was on there for. And then she went on some like weird side tangent. Listen, Caitlin, I'll make this easier for you. Whenever you're on Fox News, they want you to just attack trans people. 
Period. End of story. I know that that seems like super reductionist, but that's literally the only reason why they're bringing you on. Republicans, for whatever reason, have chosen to make transgender issue their number one issue. They've introduced so many bills in 2021 alone to not only ban gender affirming care to trans youth, but ban uh, transgender high school girls from school sports. So if they're bringing you on, just assume that they want you to say something terrible about trans people. But she went on some weird tangent about how California is socialist. But before we get to that, I just have to say, she literally cried because Joe Biden didn't acknowledge D-Day. I just, I don't understand how people get this offended by things. Like, she literally, on national television, cried because the president didn't make a particular noise with his mouth that she wanted him to make. I mean, if this is a scandal, then, I mean... The threshold is really, really low. You know, to me, I would be more offended with other things that Joe Biden doesn't do. For example, he doesn't support Medicare for all as thousands of people die in America. And he even backed away from a public option. I would be more offended at him not acknowledging the health care crisis than just paying lip service to something that you already know about. Right. I mean, if you're going to cry on national television over something that Joe Biden doesn't say or address, wouldn't it be something that affects people right now? I mean, sure, you can you can expect the president to speak on the anniversary of D-Day, but it's, it's really obvious that this is a manufactured scandal that all of the right-wing networks collectively are talking about. And it's like, it's like they're all this hive mind. Is this really something you care about that much? Is this really that important to you? If it is, okay. But, I mean, we're not going to take you seriously if you literally are so affected by this that you fucking cry on television, Caitlyn Jenner, Jesus Christ. But she then goes on to say that, you know, this is her time to serve. Her grandfather served. But now it's her time to serve. And she wants to prove that socialism is not the route. I mean, a lot of you are worried about socialism now, but they've been doing socialism in California for a lot longer. And Gavin Newsom is... A socialist. I mean, the things that Republicans say about Democrats is so bizarre. I wish that what they said about Democrats, what they believed to be true about Democrats, was actually true. Because in reality, Gavin Newsom, ideologically speaking, is closer to her than he is to me. He's not a socialist, Caitlin. First of all, define socialism and then explain specifically why you think the policies that he's implementing are socialist. But he's not a socialist. He's a capitalist. Most Democrats, the overwhelming majority of Democrats, 99.99% are neoliberal. Do we know what a neoliberal is, children? It's a capitalist economic ideology. Rather than proposing public solutions to public problems, we propose private solutions to public problems. We privatize governance. Rather than having the government, for example, improve our education system, we simply defund education, for example, and we outsource that to private corporations who profit off of education. Rather than just guaranteeing healthcare to every single American, well, we allow insurance companies to rip us off. That's called neoliberalism. The Democratic Party is in lockstep with that ideology. To not be neoliberal is an exception if you're a Democrat. So when she says things like, oh, well, Gavin Newsom is uh, a socialist. No, he's quite literally a capitalist. It's just, it's so infuriating to see words like socialist and Marxist thrown around by idiots like Caitlyn Jenner, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Donald Trump, all of Republicans. They use the word socialism as a pejorative, as a synonym for bad or stupid, but they don't actually know what it means. Look, if you are a normal person, then I think it's fine if you use socialism as, you know, a synonym for stupid. If you say, I don't like the sandwich, the sandwich is pretty socialist. Okay, you sound stupid, but I mean, you're a normal person, so I can give you a pass. If you're a politician and you want to be the governor of California, you can't use political terms like this because that tells me that you don't know what the fuck they mean and don't know what the fuck you're talking about. So, I mean, I, I continue to be amused by Caitlyn Jenner's stupidity. She's like three times my age, so you'd think she'd have more wisdom. She'd know at least a little bit about basic public policy, but she knows nothing. She thinks that Gavin Newsom, a milk toast neoliberal Democrat, is a socialist. And I mean, like, what she doesn't realize is that the people who you can point to who self identify as socialists, like AOC and Bernie Sanders, 
if you look at the policy positions that they're advocating for, most Americans agree with those policies. So it's like all of America socialists. Are they just like brainwashed into this socialist cult? I would love to ask Caitlyn Jenner these questions, but, um, you know, she'll just continue to, uh, make a fool of herself on national television and we can only speculate, but, um, this is not someone who's very bright, but I'd say she is exhibiting a level of intelligence that's probably pretty average, if not above average, for Republican policymakers. So there's that silver lining, I guess. <laughs> Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Recovery mode, my brain ideas.